Now we are going to learn about the most frequently used terms in anatomy. So we are going with the different terms that are being used. The terminology which is used in anatomy. Now please understand the word median. Okay? Then you have got another word medial. Then you have got another word lateral. Now what do you mean by the word median? Median means always in the center. For example, nose is always in the center of the face. In the same way, umbilicus or navus is always in the center portion of the trunk. Are you understanding? In the midline, what we are trying to tell. Now medial means towards the center. It is towards the center. And lateral means away from the center. Now just let me give you an example. Now if this is the face, okay? And here you have got the ears. The nose is always median. The nose is always median. But if you take the ears, they are always lateral. Ears are always lateral, away from the center. Nose is always in the center, that is median. But if you talk about the eyes, please listen. Eyes are lateral to the nose, eyes are lateral to the nose and medial to the ears. So the medial and lateral these terms are relative terms. They are relative terms. When somebody says eyes are lateral to nose, yes they are right. When somebody says eyes are medial to ears, yes they are also right. Are you able to understand? So this you should understand the nicety of anatomy when you are reading the anatomy textbooks. Just few words will not give you the complete sense. You have to read the entire line. Then you will understand what exactly is the expression. What exactly is the meaning. Okay. Not only this, we have got so many other words which are called dorsal and ventral. Normally in English you use the word dorsal means back and ventral means front. So if you see the word dorsal, so this portion is called dorsal where you see the back and this portion is called front. Okay? Or one more, you have got here, this is posterior, this is anterior, also the same. So anterior means the front, posterior means the back. Okay? Now we have other words like upper and then you have got lower. So the portion up, what do you mean by upper? Towards the head. Lower means towards the feet. So you also call it as cranial, especially in embryology we use these terms and caudal, cranial and caudal. Actually, when you use the word corda, it means towards the tail. We don't have tails. Actually, caudal means away from the head. Cranial means towards the head. Towards the head. And corda means away from the head is what you call as the corda. Okay, away from the head is corda. Are you able to follow the different terms? Then you also have got superior are inferior superior or inferior are you able to understand how rich anatomy is with its so many descriptive terms good so here you have superior inferior cranial cord upper lower in the same way you have got many more terms which we are going to learn one is superficial and other one is deep. What do you mean by superficial? Which is towards the skin, towards the surface is superficial. Away from the surface, away from the skin is deep. When it is away from the skin or away from the surface is deep. This is towards the skin and that's what you call is 
superficial. Is that fine? Thank you.